Hello, this is Katie Diamond. I don't um, do a lot of videos, I'm trying to do more, but this is a first in the sense that I'm going to do a video um, that is a book review. I'm going to do a little review of Lunatic Fringe by Alison Moon. Um, this book, how do I start? First of all, lesbian werewolves. Pause, let that sink in for a second because lesbian werewolves as a sentence is just fabulous as an idea. Um, now think a little bit more, oh, hot sex scenes, lesbian werewolves. Yeah, your interest is peaked. I can tell, I can tell even through the internet. Um, I decided about four or five chapters in to reading Lunatic Fringe that I needed to review it in some capacity. Um, mostly because um, it's been a really long time since I have read a book that so clearly enticed me to stop what I was doing and read and not be able to focus on anything until I finished the book. Um, the other piece that has been really exciting for me and I know I like a book when this happens is that whenever there's been rising action in the book which I just finished like 10 minutes ago whenever there was rising action in the book I actually found myself reading faster and then doing this thing where I'd be oh god I would freak out and have to close the book for a second sort of like when you pause a movie at the scary parts <laughs> um, this book is that good Full disclosure, Allison Moon is a good friend of mine. So I'm doing this review also as like a favor out of love for her and, and this creative endeavor that she has embarked upon. Um, so, enough yammering. Um, Lunatic Fringe, approximately 250-ish pages, um, is a great Bill Dung's Roman, great coming of age story. Um, Lexi, the main character, first year at college, I think something a lot of folks can relate to, um, you know, major life changes that are also associated with meeting, meeting new friends and then sort of engaging in politics as a young woman on a college campus, um, discovering the po politics of the other women around. Um, this book, I think, does a really good job showing the various levels of feminist uh, discourse, if you will, feminist repertoire, and how certain concepts of radicalism versus progressivism, um, class and race really play out in the more academic feminist sphere, all the while telling a great story that is essentially sweet werewolf science fiction. I know that for me, I, I have not really been bitten, no pun intended, really been bitten by the vampire trend. Um, I've always really dug werewolves. I've always been a huge, like, nerdy, like, grr, I love feral things fan. So this definitely speaks to the aesthetic that I like. Um, but I'm not embedded in reading these books, so I, I'm coming at it from a very fresh perspective. I'm not, I'm not in it as someone who reads a lot of books about werewolves and monsters and science fiction stuff. Um, so that's one perspective I can't, I can't actually offer, but I appreciated the combination of folklore with, um, with the science fiction, with the political. I think that the layering of feminist thought, meeting radical identities, meeting of, you know, the changes that happen in our lives when we're young and on the cusp of something new, I think this book speaks to a lot of those things in addition to being a wonderful action story. Um, so, I highly recommend it. Lunatic Fringe by Allison Moon. She's self-published. You can see her little icon right there. It's Lunatic Inc. Um, we are going to be giving a talk this October 18th, Tuesday at 7 p.m. at Blue Stockings in New York, where you'll be able to get these books. But you can also get them online at talesofthepack.com. So, without further ado, buy this book. Come see us talk if you are in the New York area. And um, get your wolf on, because this, this shit is amazing. Amazing.
Oh man, I can't. I just, I can't. I just can't. I gotta go. You should buy the book.